Pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. Alongside Patrick Crowsdale, I'm James, and today we're doing a tandem flight on the brand new Flightline OV-10 Broncos. Patrick is gonna be flying in the uh, regular scheme that it comes with, the stock livery, and I've got a custom livery on mine with a white wing, and um, they both look like they're from the same squadron though yeah. with the, uh, the horseshoes yeah. on the back. So that makes it nice. But overall, we just want to have some fun with the latest and greatest. You've seen Patrick now, you flew it mm -hmm. uh, the other day. We released a video on that and you took it through its paces. You mm -hmm. really enjoy it. And we always have fun though, doing tandem <laughs> formation flights because it uh, just always looks cooler with two in the air. So yes. anything else you want to say a little bit about this Bronco, Patrick? No, man, just a great flying airplane. So I think this should make uh, uh an easier platform for you and I to maybe get close and dance a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and if we if we get too close, you'll see that too. So, uh, Alex, you ready? Send it. All right, I am at half uh, flap. Both of us have two 4000 Admiral 4S packs inside. Push up to the nose, and I'll get rolling out first, Patrick. Okay. Take it off, right to left. And I like to just goose it, because she will lift off beautifully. Get rid of my flaps. Gear coming up. Look at her go. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Now the OD green I use on mine is, um, I'm forgetting, Vallejo. Um, the Vallejo, yeah. The Vallejo olive drab. So I just went with that and it's obviously a lot darker than I think the real scheme is, but I kind of dig it. I didn't bother trying to add color to it. I'm not Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it out. There we go. We'll stay in this oval, and now I'm about half throttle. Yeah, okay. Matching up. There we go. Oh, yeah, and I'll stay a little lower. Look at that. Look at that. That's fun. We are cruising, looking for a target. <laughs> Here we go. Or looking to observe. That's right. We'll call in with the. What would uh, they call it? Not just PC. observer, but like an interceptor? Forward maybe? observer or uh, uh, a light, light attack. attack. Light right? attack. Light yep. attack. So as I said in numerous of these videos, it's just you know, the beauty of this model, or just the real thing, the fact that, A, three generations of pilots could have flown in the same aircraft, right? I mean, well, you could have a grandfather in Vietnam. They're using them now again. So, yep, a uh, father in the Gulf, yeah. and then a grandson today. Yeah. yeah. You know, so you could have one of those few aircraft that three generations of uh, pilots could have been in. Which is always awesome yeah. to share in a model form, too. I'd say on the next path, now that we're we're staying semi-close. Okay. I say we goose the throttle. Okay. Let's come in full throttle and it's vertical. All right. Sounds good. Two's in. Two's in. <laughs> That's what you do in your C-130s, right? Just two's in. <laughs> Minimal radio chatter. Two's in. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to bring up my throttle now. Okay. I'm at full throttle. I'm in with you. I'm going to come in a little lower. Bring it up to the sky and I'll still turn. Which way you go? To the right. Oh, oh. I'll come with you. <laughs> Coming across the middle, I'm going to go into a loop. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then turning right now. Putting rudder in the turn. <laughs> She's a gorgeous, fine. gorgeous fine air, airplane, guys. And if you're watching this video today, check the date. Um, they are just arrived about a week ago in the EU. So uh, you EU customers, you can have some fun with this awesome twin engine. The white ring really shows up nicely. Yeah. Easy to see it. when you roll it up. How about this, Patrick? On yeah. the next one, let's, okay. we'll reverse our uh, orientation. Okay. So I'm gonna figure eight it back. Okay. You drop your gear and I'll try to low pass over you while you touch and go. Sure. How about that? We'll get some space in there. I'm gonna space it out. Because I will slow down. Okay. I'm going to throw yeah, my first notch gear. of flaps out. There she comes. And then gear. I'll go out wider. Okay. So I'll go out a little farther. That'll work. And I'll and try I'm to gonna... come either behind you, like in the camera view. All right. I'm at the white pole, so I'm going to use yeah. my markers, looking for my V in the trees, letting the airplane stay slow. Ooh. Nose dropping, nose dropping. Look back. We're going to be holding the throttle and just barely go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just floating her down the runway. What a fun little airplane. 
Yeah, you know what, Patch, talk a little bit, um, you know, obviously with the trike gear. Mm -hmm. You've helped us, guys. If you don't watch us on uh, Fridays, we do, uh, you know, Patrick's been a big part of our live show lately, last couple weeks, doing mm -hmm. a Learn to Land series. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this trike gear aircraft, we like it for, you know, somebody learning how to land. The trike gear usually is a, uh, it's a good way to start, right? Yeah, trike gear is, is, if you look, that's what most guys train on, right? Your Cessnas have the trike gear. It's just a little bit easier to manage the airplane going down the runway, takeoffs and landings. Uh, it, the only difference is, is that, uh, um, I shouldn't say only difference, but the easier difference is, is that you're doing that round out and flare is easier to manage than like a warbird where you're trying to dra drag that tail, you know? Yeah, yeah. So this is a great, you know, like we said, this is a great beginner type of uh, yeah. warbird trainer. If you guys like, if you, if you look at trainers and you don't like non-scale platforms, if you're a guy who enjoys uh, flying something that flew in real life, yeah. then like the OV-10 works. Absolutely. In fact, I, I would say this is one of those airplanes that if somebody said, hey, I, I just got finished flying a trainer, I think I'm ready for a warbird, which one would you recommend? I would definitely say this OV-10. I'm gonna come in for a touch and go. Okay. This time. So I'm power off, power off, power off. I'm gonna be right behind you, see what power we get. Power off, power off, and I'm at half flap. And I took the grass a bit. Power up, flaps coming out, gear coming back up. And one thing I love too about this model, the flight time's on it. Yes. You know, right now I have two minutes on a seven minute timer left. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we've, we've landed it like this and could easily have been up for another oh, yeah. minute or so, depending on the flight, especially on the flights where you're cutting throttle and you're doing touch and goes, you right. know, coming in, gliding a bunch. She, uh, you'll really extend those times. I really think, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cause I really think the, uh, yeah, I, I think where this plane shines is in it's touch and go fun. Yeah. You know? Let's try with the rudder on a roll. Oh, very nice. Add the rudder to it, guys, and you really get a more axial roll. You know, this obviously is not a real aerobatic plane in real life, I wouldn't think. No, she is. She you, is? Yeah, the real airplane, because if, if you're going to be an attack airplane, man, you've got to be able to get in, in and get out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she'll, she'll do it. Back, I guess, can... I mean, am I wrong then, it's like, you know, when you say aerobatics versus tight quarters like I understand she could turn on a dime get right back yeah. on target fast yeah but does that necessarily have anything to do with its acrobat so, aerobatic capability aerobatics really are just kind of a, a base derivative of maneuvers that you need to do in order to get the airplane where you want it right yeah yeah uh, like a split s or an Emelman are all just repositioning maneuvers gotcha um so yeah this airplane is totally capable in fact I'd like to get my hands on a real one that'd be a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> I bet it would be a lot of fun so I had a From what fall. Alpha was telling me, though, in yep. Vietnam, when the OV-10 came out, it did not have air conditioning. Oh, yeah, that so. would have surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> that would have not been fun. Yeah. And I doubt you could open the windows. So you're talking South, uh, uh, Southeast East Asia, Asia. <laughs> in freaking the summertime in an airplane that's all canopy. <laughs> Hot. 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 Well, I got that. And it could probably fly for days. Yours? Yeah, I'm about 10 seconds. Okay. So... Ooh. If you want, how about this? You take the grass, okay. I'll take the runway. All right, I'm going to throw out my gear. Exactly something. I got the first notch of flaps, so I'm going to throw out the next a notch, and we're going to aim for the grass. I am All right. sad our time is done. Yes. We're getting behind a cloud a little bit. Here we are going to the grass. Ooh, look at that. On the runway. Very nice. <laughs> fun. Super fun. I'm going to turn it. We'll come back. And she won't wing tip. Look at that. Wing scrape, I should say. <laughs> yeah, nice wide gear stance, which is another good thing for being uh, newer to the warbird industry. You know, you can you can really kind of horse this thing around on the ground, and it's not going to tip up on you like uh, some of the other airplanes, like like Spitfire would. Yeah, yeah, and I was talking about that in like my B twenty four video, like another model that's just. Mm -hmm dialed in yes. another model that you could yes. glide down like i had no power on that landing i didn't even bring it back in <laughs> full flap she was just mm -hmm. you know at the perfect speed manager mm -hmm. speed but for the most part um you know she touches down easy and even if one thing i like that that landing here is rock solid man i've hit it a mm -hmm. bunch of times mm -hmm. um came in a little too hard and it survives so that's what i do love about this model too um it's a robust gear yeah you got that nice trailing link yeah and it really i mean it really sits 
So you can get away with not so perfect landings on something like this. And there it is. Whereas nice. some aircraft, if you do that, <laughs> you know, motionrc.com, <laughs> spare gear. landing gear, replacement <laughs> gear. But overall, Patrick, thank yeah. you so much. Always fun. Guys, definitely check out the playlist for our live videos because that Learn to Land series, we have three of them now. One where Patrick took us through a whole PowerPoint, just a whole lesson in landing you know, planes just at the table. Then we came out with his F-22. He was teaching us how to properly get in the right positions to land a jet. Then we did it with a tail dragger. He had the Corsair out here. And then uh, we're gonna be doing this on one of our future live shows with the uh, with the OV-10s. And we're gonna do a little monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. That video might already be out by the time you're seeing <laughs> this. So just check the description. I'll have all the links to the products in both the US and the EU, to the Hobby Squawk thread, and to any other uh, videos I mentioned here. So Patrick, again, one more time always good thank you so much <laughs> thank you everybody for joining hit the like button if you can on the way out the door and we'll see you next time at motion rc